What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. To the left-hand side is the man. Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com. And speaking of American grit, we got my man, co-star, touchdown, Tony Simmons. What's up, everyone? American What's grit, up? season one. So, we were talking this morning, and we had a topic come up that we get a lot. Okay. Now, Tony, do you mind disclosing to the public how, how old you are? Um, I'm 41 years old, and um, I'm still playing football and actually training still. So, here's a good question. I mean, you, you see the pictures from American Grit. Mm -hmm. He's got abs. He's got everything in shape. He's functional. Now, Tony, what's your secret? What's your strategy to stay in this kind of shape as a man of your age? Um, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's genetics. It's for real, though. No, but seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, what it is... Um, <laughs> But it is this, I actually do a lot of functional work. Uh, I do a lot of functional training, uh, mm -hmm. body weight, anything like bear crawl. There's no old football uh, workouts like that back in, from back in the day. Heavy lifting still, uh, I can't forget it because I don't want to lose too much muscle, but I still want to keep my muscle uh, at the same level. But right now, just stay more in body weight right now. I'm a little tired right now, you know, dealing all the traveling and stuff back and forth to Europe and stuff. So I just kind of stay in that area right now. So, I mean, Steve, we were talking about this like on a weekly basis. like. Let's say a Monday through Sunday, mm -hmm. and it's a normal week. I mean, I know your normal weeks, week, like yeah, my yeah. week varies. Mm -hmm. What's your normal training like? Well, I train three to four times a week. Uh, basically, uh, you hit your upper body, you know, hit the legs. I do more legs than, um, than most people. I do legs every time I train. So, so you do legs three to four times a week? Three to four times a week. What are you legs. doing for legs? For legs, I do multiple things. I'll do squats, obviously, the basis of uh, all deadlifts, love them. Um, then, you know, I'll do more stuff like uh, bear crawls, you know, stuff like that. Full body, more motions and stuff like that. I need to do that because my shoulders are older, um, my body's older, I'm retired, you know what I mean? I don't have to bang my body up anymore like I used to. Low reps, high reps, heavyweight, lightweight, when you're lifting the weights. Mm -hmm. And do you base your lifts on the big three? Bench, squat, deadlift, I mean, what, what's your strategy? Well, my strategy for it is basically I look at everything overall. Like, what type of picture do I want to have at the end of the day? Uh, do I want to be athletic? Do I want to be in more performance? Or do I want to just be big? So I started thinking, I was like, well, one day, I just looked at it, I said, I want to be a performance athlete. I just want to stay performing. So just in case, American Great, stuff like that happens. You know what just I mean? like, in case you get a call for the well, next biggest the reality show, show right. in the history of TV. Right, so you get, you know I mean, you never know what's going to happen. So... I, just re I would rather be uh, ready for life versus not ready for it. You know what I mean? I know you did bodybuilding and you were right after the show, right before the show, you just came from it and you like, oh shit, what the yeah. hell is happening? <laughs> like, what am I doing? Like, I gotta go, now we gotta go run. Hey, Mark, let's go. We're gonna go run 5.2 miles. You're like, uh, yeah. And for me, I didn't train for almost six months, yeah. so it was like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, can we just walk quickly at an incline? Like, body <laughs> like, we just do a brisk pace? Yeah, <laughs> and you know, when you get to that stuff, you just don't want to, you know, you know, you don't want to dip. I always look at things like this, too, and I still, I watch videos. I always look, if it's a, uh, a zombie apocalypse, mm -hmm. all I have to do is be faster than one person. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. One person, and I'm out of here. Well, I already um, know you're faster than me, so I'm dead. <laughs> so I'm on the, t the corporate softball game last night. Oh, that was fun. Man. And I mean, I, I mean, if, if we can remember, we got to drop some footage of that in there. Because this man beat out a ground ball and then hit a, a two outs that were home runs. Yeah. I didn't know there was a home run rule in softball. Well, it is. Um, for the for the uh, team that we that. That league at this point, it was two. You had two home runs for the entire game. Yeah. So, you know what I mean. When I did shoot, hit the first one, I knew it was, and I hope it. Just, I was like, please drop, please drop. I was it like, drop. Oh, it didn't it drop. Kept going. And then the last one, the epic slide from you. We're trying to tie the game up and win it, and then you know you got pulled out. So then I'm next at bat, and I'm looking. I'm like, okay, we got two on. All I have to do is ground it in and make sure I get in. So I was like, cool. So I hit it towards the gate. And I'm telling you, it, I was, went. I, it went and it just kept going. I was like, are you serious? It, it was one of those right where it just there, kept going high. It just kept going. It just lifted and went over the gate. Yeah. And I was like, game over. And I was like, ah. Oh. Well, it was a good way to end the game. I walk yeah. off home run. Literally. Yeah, that's true that. But. Now, now, Tony, you uh, you talked about what would happen if you didn't train heavy. Like a lot of people are surprised over the age of 40 that right. you're, you're training heavy. And you mm -hmm. mentioned what you felt like um, would happen if you didn't continue to train heavy and what you see like other NFL players going through that don't continue to lift or, right or turn um, like the same way yeah what happens most of these guys like most mm -hmm. nfl guys and, I, and i'm just saying this because i'm part of that brotherhood and stuff but most of the guys they retired and they retired like 
I'm not doing nothing. I'm never going to lift the weight again. And then they get through this situation like now I'm losing, I'm gaining too much weight and stuff like that. Like you'll get a lineman who's already, you know, 270, 300 pounds and he's still gaining weight. Then you get the ones that figured it out. I was 350. Now they're like 220. You know what I mean? They're figuring it out. Like I have to continue to lift weights and stay fit. But what happens, most of these guys, they just stop. Literally stop moving. And I understand. You're sore. You're tired. You've been playing for five, six, seven, ten years. I just want to sit down because for the first time you get to stop moving and you don't have to worry about getting up in the morning. But what happens is all of all the stuff we've done to our bodies, we've destroyed our bodies to play this game. I'll do it again. Trust me. I love doing it again. But the problem was we destroyed our bodies and now your body can't maintain that no more you you're not you're still eating the same but you're not maintaining the same fitness level or or the same performance level yeah now we got problems all the most nfl players they go overweight they get overweight real bad most of them get diabetes this that and that then they find out what's really wrong with them because eventually you're going to go say okay let me find out what's really wrong with my body broken bones this torn tendon this and this and then now the doctors who are not used to dealing with athletes they're telling you well you can't do nothing for like six months and they listen to them. You know what I mean? Like, you right, can't right. do something for a while. And they listen to them like, you're an athlete. You're still an athlete. Even though you're tired, you're still an athlete. Yeah. Lifting heavy will help you. Staying fit, doing other stuff. You still have to stay active just because. Now you got to change your eating habits because we could eat anything we wanted. Yeah. Now we just, you know, you got to cut it back. Start understanding your micros your, um, and your um, micronutrients. Um, Micronutrients, macronutrients. You gotta understand all that stuff. Now you gotta really start getting into your nutrition because we eat like we don't care. Because we know tomorrow I'm gonna burn all that off and yeah. start all over again. So if you were, let's say if someone's 38, 30, mm -hmm. 35 plus. Okay. And we get a lot of people who are either continuing or just starting. Let's say we got somebody who's you know getting into it. <laughs> what would your recommendation be? Uh, if they were getting into it, I would honestly say, depend on what they were wanna do. If they wanna say performance wise, Stay in a performance, uh, performance like, like, you know, people do CrossFit and stuff like that. I would always say CrossFit is a good, it has a good, decent base. Yeah. It does. But performance-wise, there's some stuff that we, you have to do to go beyond that because you're an athlete. And being a former athlete, you have to also keep some of those things going. I'm not telling you to go out there to run 25 gassers or anything like that. But those are the things that made your body look the way it was. Why not do the same thing that you did? But this time, you know you don't have to go out there and play. Now you're just out there. Just staying in shape, getting going again. I coach, so that actually helps me stay on the football yeah. field. So by me being a coach, it really helps me. So I think the main thing is, um, let's just get to where can people find you? Because I know people are going to be interested in this, contact you after this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of girls hitting you up on the DM um, <laughs> due to the show. Um, and, and, it and goes down. The fact that you're standing next to me. Yeah. Always a pleasure, it, brother. It, yes. <laughs> it, it, thank you. It goes, it goes down in the DM. So where can they find you, Tony? Um, you can find me at... Uh, on Twitter, you can find me at Coach uh, TD Tony. On Instagram, Tony Touchdown Simmons, and on uh, Facebook, Touchdown Tony. Um, and you know, I mean, soon they have my uh, YouTube up soon. Um, I do have stuff on there. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit, but because uh, I'm crazy, I have like all types of polar bear dives and stuff like that. That's what I do. I'm crazy like that. But I have to clean it up a little bit so you guys can have more footage and have good stuff of what I actually do in my life. And of course, on American Grit Thursday nights at nine o'clock. Eastern Standard. Tony, thanks so much for coming by. No Epic no stuff problem. going on today. Steve, again, you're always the man. And uh, again, follow his stuff, and hopefully this helped you a lot, and that's not a game.